Hey everyone, Clay here. Today we're going to be checking in with my friend Autumn. She studies something really cool and I can't wait for you to hear all about it. But I'm going to let her tell you. Let's go find Autumn. Come on. Autumn, hi there. Thanks for meeting up with us. I was just about to let everyone in on what we're learning today, but I thought you could tell them. Oh, I'd be glad to. Okay, my specialty is the study of noises animals make to help them communicate. Its official name is bioacoustics. Nice! So let me get this straight. You study the way animals talk? Right. Here, I'll give you an example. Have you ever gone to a different country and heard them speak another language? Oui, oui, mon ami. <laughs> That's French for yes, my friend. I'm a little rusty, but you get it. Well, that's kind of how it works for animals. Each type or group of animals have their own special language that helps them communicate. Like birds chirping? Birds do use chirping to talk to each other, but it's actually so much more than that. Every single animal has a special way to communicate with their same species. That is so cool. How did you learn to speak the language of all the different animals? I wish I could talk to some. Well, guess what? You actually can. Here, try this, a squirrel call. A squirrel call? Is this like a cell phone for squirrels? A squirrel phone? Um, yes, Mr. Squirrel. I am free for an acorn latte. 3 p.m. on Tuesday? Sounds great. No, like this. Oh, of course, of course. That was squirrel for see you Tuesday. It's important that animals know how to communicate with each other. Sometimes it might be for fun, like a, hey, how you doing? And other times it might be to warn everyone about something that might be dangerous. Danger, danger. Want to try another one? This is for a fox. Hmm, what does the fox say? <laughs> I think you're getting the hang of it. Well, I don't mean to toot my own horn. So I can use a call to talk to any animal? Well, not exactly. Take ants, for example. Even though they may not use sound, they have their own special way to help them talk to one another. So how do they communicate exactly? Because I hear that ants don't actually have mouths. You're right about that, Clay. Ants can speak, but in a very interesting way. They have a spike on their back that they stroke with one of their legs, and the noises come from the vibrations. Oh, like the noise my comb makes. That's exactly right. Animals have lots of different ways to communicate and have so much to say. And you know, Clay, studying about the way they talk to each other has helped me learn so much about them, from the way they eat to how they travel. There's so much to know. Well, I know I've learned so much today. Autumn, thanks for hanging out with us. Man, the great outdoors is the place to be. I can't wait for our next adventure. See you later.